So over the past year or so, we've seen smartwatches really take off in the market. But are smartwatches really worth investing in? Why not just get a fitness band? Well hello guys, I'm Eric. So today I want to take a look at fitness bands and smartwatches. And to be more specific, I want to take a look at the Fitbit Charger HR. Now, the Fitbit Charger HR is a mid-size fitness band. The HR stands for heart rate because it can monitor your heart rate, it can monitor your steps, but I'm getting a little ahead of myself. Let's take a look at the design. Looking at the fitness band, I have the black one and it's all made out of this like rubber that personally I feel is rather comfortable on your wrist. Looking at the top, there is an OLED screen and then next to it is a button. This will activate the OLED screen which will show the clock and then if you click the button or just tap on the screen then it'll go through all the pages so I can look at the time and date, I can look at my heart rate, I can look at my steps I've taken, etc. You could also simply just flick your wrist and that'll also activate the OLED screen so no hands are needed. Now the information on the OLED screen like your heart rate, like your steps, definitely is really nice to have but it means nothing unless you can save this information somewhere. And well, if you have a smartphone, you can get the Fitbit app and then sync up the Fitbit to your smartphone and it'll download all the information into the app and make nice graphs and everything for every single day. So I can compare my steps I took today with the steps I took yesterday so to see if I met my goal, to see how my heart rate is throughout the day, etc. The app is laid out very nicely and shows all your statistics in nice graphs and charts and all that. And you're actually going to have to use the Fitbit app to set like the time and date on the Fitbit or else you're going to go around with the wrong time. But what's also nice about the app is there's a social media aspect to it. So you can get your friend's email or whatever and you can add friends to your Fitbit app and they can set up challenges every day, every week, you know, to try to compete with your friends on who can get the most steps in a certain day or certain time period. But going back to the features of the Fitbit Charger HR, the HR, like I said, stands for heart rate. And this is important because yes, it tracks your day-to-day -day heart rate, but it also tracks your heart rate when you're sleeping. So this can let you figure out, you know, how well do you actually sleep? How many times do you wake up? And the app will actually show that to you in a really nice graph. Now, besides the fitness portion of this Fitbit, what else does it do? Well, when you get a phone call on your phone, as long as it's connected through Bluetooth, your Fitbit will buzz and let you know who's calling you, which I actually really like that feature. But besides that, you don't get any other notifications. When someone texts you, it doesn't show up on the Fitbit. You get emails, doesn't show up on the Fitbit. The only thing it'll do is let you know when someone calls you. So in all honesty, some people might think, wow, the Fitbit Charger HR kind of sucks. I mean, sure, it does fitness stuff, but besides that, it's really not that much of a smart device. And you're not wrong. There isn't a whole lot this device will do but there's still a reason I got it. Now, yes, I wanted a fitness tracker band, but something like the Apple Watch has some fitness tracking. It can check my heart rate, it can keep track of my steps and all, so why not go with something like that? Well, that's because I don't think smartwatches are truly ready. Yes, in the past year or so, we've seen smartwatches really change and be really strongly developed, and we do have some really great smartwatches right now, but like everything, they're far from perfect. And I might be a little Apple fanboy here, but personally, I like the Apple Watch the best out of all the smartwatches I've seen. And that's probably because I have an iPhone, so the Apple Watch is the most uh, useful. But when you look at a smartwatch like that, let's first look at the battery life. My Fitbit will last from probably around four to six days. And that's probably a little bit on the high side, but regardless, I don't have to charge the Fitbit very often. With an Apple Watch, you're going to have to charge it just about every day. But moving on though, let's look at the simple price. The Fitbit costs 150 bucks, which that's not cheap. But something like the Apple Watch costs 350 plus. That's a lot of money, especially when there's going to be a new Apple Watch, hopefully this year. And the new Apple Watch is probably going to blow away the current Apple Watch that we have. So basically, I have to worry about the Apple Watch being replaced relatively soon, but if I'm going to spend a ton of money on the Apple Watch, I'm not going to be able to afford the next Apple Watch. 
So I guess what I have to say is, you know, fitness bands like the Fitbit, they're more stable when something like the Apple Watch and other smartwatches are still kind of in the testing phase. You never know what's going to come out next with the new Apple Watch, with some of the new Samsung watches. And I don't have a ton of money to spend, so whatever I invest in, I want to make sure I invest in the right product. I don't think smartwatches are ready just yet. Just wait till like the Apple Watch second gen comes out. That's when I'll probably consider it. But for now, I'm sticking with my fitness band. But anyway, what do you guys think? Are you guys using a Fitbit? Do you want a smartwatch? Do you think they're worth buying? Let me know in the comment section below. Anyway guys, that's the video for today. I'll catch you in the next one.